Well, I mean... Sure. I mean, you're gonna be auto-attacking people whenever you get the chance, because there's a, a couple of different um, situations. It really depends on how close you are to them when you uh, go in, but let me go into practice soon and I'll show you the combos. Favorite Eve skin is either Shadow or Blood Moon. Oh, not Blood Moon, sorry. Shadow or Tango. Blood Moon is good too, though, but this one and this one are definitely the best. Who is my favorite waifu? I don't know. The first character that comes to mind is Megumi from uh, Konosuba. She's pretty cool. Um, you're never like one trick, but do you have any tips on how to play Camille in the jungle? Yeah, dude. Hit level 2 and kill everyone. The biggest thing, actually, is be realistic with your kills. Um... Of course I'm not going to pick Evelyn as a waifu. She's going to fucking kill me. Uh... <laughs> Alright, hold on. Um, let's get some levels and I'll show you the combos. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and cancel minions and towers and all that jazz. Alright, so... There's a couple, right? We need uh, we need blue smite because that comes into play as well. So, uh, let's say it is early game. Let's say you're like level six or something. And you're ganking a mid laner. Usually in the early game, the best way to gank th this is before people can kill you. This is before people can kill you. Okay. The best way to gank is like this. You walk into their sight range, and as soon as you walk in, you both W and smite, okay? Once you W and smite, you... Sorry, I didn't mean to charm it. Once you W and smite, you walk right on top of them. Anywhere they go, you go, but make sure not to proc the charm while it's still charging, okay? So if they go, they go here, you walk with them. Because the closer you are to them, the easier it is for you to hit the charm, okay? So, that's what you do. Now, let's say you successfully stayed on top of them. Oh, and, but the, the other thing you want to do, you want to stay really close to them, but actually you want to stand on the side where they want to run to. So, like, if they want to run towards their tower, you stand like this, okay? Because what are they going to instinctively do? What they're going to do is they're going to try to flash over you like this and run, but Flash has a very short range, so when they do that, if you're standing in front of them where they want to go, you just you just auto attack them, and even if they flash over you, you still auto attack them. You just issue the command, and Evelyn, even if they flash over, will auto attack them. Anyway, that's the positioning. Now here's what you actually do for damage. So you you get on top of them, you proc with your auto attack, Q, and then just fucking mash that shit, my dude. There's like nothing that you have to wait. I had I had cooldowns on. That's why everything was coming out so fast. The main thing is that you want to get your auto attacks in. Okay, so it's you got to start with an auto attack and follow up with a Q, and everything else is really easy because they're charmed. So you start with an auto attack, follow up with a Q, and then hate spike E auto attack. All that shit. All that shit comes out smooth. And the reason why is because your uh, your hate spikes they're not actually your hate spikes do not actually impede your movement whatsoever your hate spikes are just whatever so after you use your auto attack q all you have left is your e and if you if you do auto attack to proc the charm auto attack q e then you're you're golden um, sometimes I'll throw out an auto attack before I E just to make sure that I do the, the combo. Uh, I, I do as many auto attacks as possible. There's one other thing that I need to, uh, um, specify and it's this. Um, you can charm and Q and then E them right before the charm wears out. You can take a look at their, um, charm bar up top. 
So right before the charm wears off, you eat them. The reason why is because if they're like, let's say, an Ezreal or something, they're going to try to E and Q away. And our E works kind of like Warwick E, where we follow them. So if you, char if you E right before the charm has worn off, they will, as soon as it is done, try to flash away and whatever, and you'll just follow them. What if they stay in the wave? It doesn't matter if they stay in the wave, because we're proccing with our auto attack. So if they stay in the wave, it doesn't matter. We proc with our auto attack and we Q. If you, if you have, like, a minion between you, then just E first. If you, if, if you can't, if you know that you can't land a clean E because there's like another person. If, so let's say this is how it is. For, for we'll, we'll count this as a minion, right? You auto, you E through, and then position yourself afterwards for the Q is really easy. These guys are really close together, so it's it's hard to show it off, I guess. But uh, if you E, it's really easy with the extra movement speed and whatever to get around them. And like this is another champion target, so I, I don't know. It, it's annoying. Oh, there you go. That's how it worked. Depends on how far away you are for some reason or something. Okay, so see, E is supposed to put you inside of the person. I don't know why it wasn't doing it before. Why is it? Why can't I go through this target? Wait, that's so weird. Is it just depending on the range? I guess it depends on the range, right? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking weird. I guess I never actually use the dash thing. I thought it always put you in the middle. It's supposed to always put you in the middle. Is that like a bug or something? Um, entering Demon Shaver says Whiplash cooldown empowers it. When empowered, Whiplash pulls Evelyn to her target, dealing magic damage to them and enemies in the way equal to... Yeah, that's weird. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't pull her if she's standing too close. I didn't know that. Anyway, yeah, you, you can position yourself with your E. Um, now, as far as new... Th this is just regular. This is like... If you're Evelyn, generally you can just clear every camp before they get there. Yeah, but you don't really want to do that. You generally want to gank a little bit before they're... Can I ask you a little tip when enemy general on the top of play very aggressive and invades harass? I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Mick Lee. I'll talk about that in a second. Let me just finish the combos. Let me finish talking about the combos. So, everything I've talked about so far is just about how to use your abilities one after the other, right? Here's how you kill people later on in the game. Um, the kill combo, let's say they are over near their tower, right? Let's say they're here, so you can't charm them. You can't charm them if they're there. What you do is you Q, as the as the Q is flying, you W. So Q, W, this slows them. You see that, oh, I can use this. You see that I've used the, you'll see that I use the W because you might not see it on screen, but you see it for a split second, whatever. But I do it after, right? So you Q, W, as they're running away, you walk after them and use your hate spikes until you're in range of E. And then you just eat them. Um, after your QW slow wears off, you can also smite them for some more. Some more slow. You smite them later and you keep on chasing them. I've killed Ezreal's like this. I've killed a lot of different stuff. Uh, it's, it's definitely really, really good. The other, the last thing I want to show you guys is uh, the kind of like faster version of that. If you don't want to use your W, but you want to kill them immediately before they can think or anything, you just, you Q flash E ult, okay? That's as fast as you can get your damage off. Q flash E ult. So I'll show you again. Q flash E ult. And that does a lot of damage. So I have no items, no magic damage. The DPS is 800. Okay, so that that deals damage. Um, one more time. Let's do electrocute too. Why the fuck not? Let's see how much damage it does in the early game and how much DPS it does. So, all right. So the total damage is um, 
537, but the DPS is 739. So we're dealing our in the entirety of our damage within uh, like 60, 0.6 seconds. It's 0.6 seconds. And you guys can practice all this stuff in practice, so you don't have to do this like in the in the actual game. Um, as far as dealing with enemy invade,